how fast should I be running right now versus walking? What if I'm walking too slow? Um, those are all questions I think I would ask myself. That's a great question, Michelle. I get a, I'm a pacer for Galloway. Jeff, I pace a lot of races for you. And people are asking me a lot, like, how fast do I have to walk? They want to know more about how fast do they have to walk really than how fast they have to run. Like, how fast do I have to keep moving during that walk break? Well, the first thing that you know very well, Amy, about pacing is that most of the people who enter a pace group don't really have much of a prayer of being able to achieve that on that day. They're taking this great leap of faith without the training to do it. But even so, uh, the uh, nucleus of our pace groups stays together for an incredibly long time because each walk break keeps erasing the fatigue buildup. But to answer your question, uh, what pace do you need to run? What pace do you need to walk? I can't tell you that. And the reason is that we discovered early on and successively in other studies that we've done that um, almost everybody walks at a different pace. And um, you take an individual during a race or a long training run, and every individual will be walking at a different pace at at various intervals during long runs and races. So mm -hmm. there's no way you can predict exactly what f pace you're going to have to run, what pace you're going to have to walk. But it really is more simple than that, as you know. Once you set up this strategy of running so much and then walking, if you're a good pacer, you're going to figure out the rhythm needed in order to keep your group on that pace. And, and they're just following you, and we have a very high success rate of people that are able to stay with us all the way through.